Hello and welcome to the Eileen Silverman Show. I'm your host Eileen and on this week's program our guest discusses the Girl Scouts of Gateway Council and their upcoming Women Who Make a Difference luncheon and the importance of supporting the Girl Scouts as they evolve to meet the needs of today's girls. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for our program. On Thursday, June 1st, you are invited to attend the 23rd Annual Women Who Make a Difference Luncheon and Fundraiser in support of the Girl Scouts of Gateway Council. To tell us more, I'm pleased to introduce my guest, Mary Ann Jacobs, CEO, Girl Scouts of Gateway Council. And Mary Ann, it's just wonderful to have you here. Oh, Eileen, it's wonderful for me to be here. We've just been having so much fun preparing for this, and not only for the show, but also for the event that will be held on June 1st. Yes, yes. I'm, I, I can say front and center, I'm looking forward to it. I am delighted and humbled to be one of the women being recognized, one of the seven, who will be recognized that day as women who make a difference. And uh, I thank the Girl Scouts for this opportunity. And it has been such a fun adventure from now through June 1st, getting to know everybody and getting to know more about the Girl Scouts. Well, you know what, Eileen? I have to say congratulations. When I first met you, I thought she has definitely already been recognized as a woman who makes a difference. And um, I'm just thrilled that I am the CEO that can actually <laughs> celebrate with you and, and the other women. Um, it, is, it is a very exciting day for Girl Scouts and it's an exciting day for women in leadership in the Gainesville area because all of you that were chosen really model the Girl Scout leadership experience. You really model what Girl Scouts is all about. Well, thank you very much. Yes, for the six other women with me sharing that, that moment, making our speech, I see all of them thinking, thinking back to all the luncheons I've attended. I've looked around that room and I've always been in awe of all the people, and I still am, all the people that give back to the community in countless ways and sometimes maybe not even that recognized. Exactly. But it, it matters. And so everyone on June 1st will get to know more about Yvette Carter, about the Reverend Marie Herring, Candace King, Rosin mm -hmm. Levy, uh, Gina Master de Casa, Julie Samples, and I will be there too. I think so, it's wonderful. Thank you very much. And when we think about the Girl Scouts, well, well, first, about the luncheon. Right. It starts at 11. It does. With a special sort of lemonade, you know, um, opportunity mm -hmm. as a social and silent auction. Mm -hmm. And then Grand Ballroom opens at 11.45. And then the program starts at noon, noon to one. And you get a lot in. You do, you do. <laughs> well, you do. And but what's most important, uh, you know, I love the fact that we're shaking it up a little bit this year with the silent auction and the lemonade social. Yes. Uh, but the, the key to the event is 
is actually honoring the women and hearing their stories of, yes. you know, if they've been a Girl Scout and how it impacted them, what impacted them, and how they're they're all women of leadership exactly, in the community. and how they blaze this trail to exactly. be who they are, and that is what's so interesting. There's a wonderful program that everyone receives, and in it. Each of the honorees, myself included, were highlighted, and uh, still the speech is another matter. So the whole point <laughs> is, we want people to come. We want people to come because it is a wonderful honor for women. It's a good time to network, to meet other people in the community, and we want to raise and meet that goal of the 65000 that you would like to raise through this fundraiser because it will stay in this area and will help the Girl Scouts. So there's lots of reasons for attending. Right. And we're letting you know to go to the website or, or call or find out about um, having a ticket for the good meal. And I hear there's a special kind of Girl Scout dessert Yes, that well, yes, we always have a Girl Scout dessert, and I bet you can't imagine what it's created around. But yes, it, and it will be a, it will be a wonderful event. And I do agree with you. It's an opportunity to network. And I love to particularly hear the stories. You and I did the same thing. I know we, we were preparing how we connected Girl Scouts to um, the catalyst of our positions in the community. I don't know if I shared this with you, but there are eight point three small businesses in the 8.3 million small businesses in the United States owned by women. Wow. And over 80% of those women were Girl Scouts. Yes. So Girl yes, Scout. exactly. Yes. And you own your own business and you are an entrepreneur, but you're also an innovator and you're a go-getter and a risk taker and a leader. And we'll talk a little bit about that That's later right. on. That's what girls are all about these so, days. So, and I just think that it's mm -hmm. um, very important that as adults, adult women, we recognize and take a minute to ponder, oh, that's right, I was a Girl Scout and that made me become more comfortable taking risks. Or exactly. I can speak in front of uh, uh, multiple cameras <laughs> because I took the public, I uh, finished my public speaking right. badge, it whatever all, it is. You look back and you know that it was all part of the journey that leads you to June 1st or wherever you are in your life. And we are gonna take a quick break, Marianne. Stay with us, we'll be right back. We're back talking about the Girl Scouts of Gateway Council. And Marianne, when we're talking about the, the women being honored June 1st, past honorees where we, and we've had, thank you to the committee because we've had some wonderful times together, luncheons, other opportunities to really get to know everybody. I mean, you make the whole experience just warm and friendly and you, you get to talk about your Girl Scout experiences right. and what it was like for you and people come from other areas of the country so you learn about what Girl Scouting was in, in areas around the country at different times. You know, it's multi-generational so we're, we're getting lots of good uh, feedback about the importance of Girl Scouting and the difference it makes in, in being a leader. And so, so many people in this room June 1st, so many women are leaders, but still 
just seems hard for women and young girls to say we're leaders or right. we can be leaders or we want to achieve that. Right. There was a survey not too long ago where 83% of the responders stated that there was a leadership crisis, particularly for women in leadership. And this is a global research um, it's a survey. It was not just in the United States. So um, with 83% of the responders stating that there's a leadership crisis, particularly with women, we sit back and as Girl Scouts, we've been developing leaders for over 100 years. Right. We sit back and, and did with our own research, in, you know, some pondering and, 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 and additional research to further understand those findings. And what really has happened is that there have been a number of girl serving organizations that in the last several, well, last decade or two, right. Girls Inc., YMCA all of a sudden is doing girl stuff. I mean, even Barbie is talking about girl empowerment. That's but a good word. Yes, it's a good word, but they're not addressing leadership. And so Girl Scouts prepares girls and women not only to code and to create an app, but to face the issues as a woman leader in a primarily male-dominated field. Right to be prepared for those issues. So the Girl Scout leadership experience is truly developing women leaders, not just empowering girls. And it's not a short process, we know that. No. And but so- Real skills real to Real skills, there. exactly. And a, and a number of the general public, if you say Girl Scouts, what do they say? I know the cookies. Cookies or camp. <laughs> but, or but wait, wait, the, the cookie program is all about learning business. It is. And, it is. And finance and skills and meeting the public and right. selling and marketing. And exactly. It's just more, it's much more than just a box of delicious cookies. Right. So there's a method to the madness of all the things that Girl Scouts do. Yes. And so moving forward, we are talking about girl. Yes. G, go getter. Yes. I. Innovator, Vader. R, risk, risk taker, taker, L, leaders. leaders. <laughs> and honestly, when I think about the women in the room on June 1st, when I sit across from a G-I-R-L, yes. I see all of those components in you. Absolutely, Eileen. And Thank you. so what, I'm, I'm very serious. So what we're saying is, yes, we still sell cookies and obviously we go to camp and we, but those things develop go-getters, innovators, risk takers, and leaders. We're not just saying we empower girls, we you develop have, leaders. Right, and you have the programs to do so. Right, exactly. And so um, as we begin to really speak about what we do, where we develop leaders and here's how we do it and we right. show the method to the madness it becomes something that the general public can relate to and then they see the cookies behind the scenes or the camp behind the scenes but really uh, girls g-i-r-l go-getter innovator risk taker and leader Peter, right that that says it all it it truly does it does and you were making sure too that no girls are ever uh, left out of the experience exactly exactly and that's one of the importance of this fundraising event that the women who make a difference there are just 200 girls in alachua county now served in a, a grant situation mom and dad aren't in the picture right. financial um Stability isn't yeah. there, right? There's, and it doesn't cost a lot to be a Girl Scout. No, it's just twenty-five dollars for the upcoming membership year. Yet some families simply cannot afford that. So we provide the opportunity for every girl that wants to be a Girl Scout. And you know what, Eileen? Every girl needs to be a Girl Scout. Yes, and deserves that opportunity exactly. in life. Exactly. And we have so much fun delivering. Girl Scout programming to girls that are at risk and in underserved areas. And and those girls, just like the typical troop, yes. would, and these are Girl Scouts in troops, but in their community center or in their school. Exactly. Uh, they, um, they get to experience the outdoors. They get to experience the entrepreneurial programs through the cookie program. They get to experience learning about themselves and really developing into that G-I-R-L. Yes. I think, oh, you've said it all, and it gets me so inspired. And we're going to take another quick break. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
We're talking about the Girl Scouts of Gateway Council. And Marianne, um, so many positives, as we've just been saying, about being a Girl Scout and a concentration right now on STEM subjects and leadership. And it's kind of where life is moving everybody. And the Girl Scouts is right leading the way. Right, we are leading the way. We're actually the largest STEM program provider for girls. And it, it is, it's very exciting. We have a number of programs that we've actually had in the market for several years before STEM became the Such big a, word, yeah. right? <laughs> and and uh, so, but we, um, and just in case, science, technology, engineering, and math. I'm sure everyone in the university city knows what that stands yes, for. You know. uh, however, we do serve a lot of rural areas where we have parents say, well, what is STEM? We don't understand. And sometimes we say STEAM because we put the put arts, arts in, in there, it, right. never to be ignored. Exactly, yes. never to be ignored. But we are really thrilled. We have a number of programs with corporate sponsors. And actually with the University of Florida, we, uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll have host 30 girls at the hospital in Jacksonville, and we hope to mirror it here in Gainesville as well, where 30 young ladies who typically would not have this experience, so they're in underserved areas and right. at-risk girls, will come in and see the inner makings of a hospital and be able to test their DNA and see different right. results in the lab. They'll also tour an ambulance and you know see some of those right. things but that's introducing girls to careers that typically are filled by men and exactly and showing them that doorway that exactly path. exactly and so we also have another partnership with um, Renaissance Jacks which also incorporates Alachua County where right. we have a, a all girl so single gender this is very important all girl robotics competition over the summer <laughs> Oh, that is important. Yes, yeah. so 10 girls teams will compete. Well, first of all, we'll understand the components of robotics, robotics and yes. understand how what it is to build a robot. And they will compete for a $1,000 grand prize just before school starts. So they're actually giving up their summer to participate in the robotics competition. And we're very excited about that. And that's actually being funded from... Um, uh, an organization in Jacksonville, which is again focused on all of North and North Central Florida. Right, exactly. Uh, so the whole large yes. area. Oh no, this is very exciting. And and you you talked briefly about the outdoor experience, and and sometimes for a lot of these young women, it may be the only outdoor experience they have through the oh. Girl Scouts. And the environment is so important now. So unless you go out and experience something about nature, maybe you cannot become a good steward right. of the environment. You know, one of the things that um, this luncheon provides is the, the girls that are typically at risk, they're less likely to just get, get to a camp and take a walk right? or experience camping in a tent. So, and we know, you and I both as Girl Scouts, we right. know what that has done for us to learn to take a risk and help us get outside of our environment. Out, out of our, our safety zone, right, out of exactly. our comfort zone. So and outdoor then, is very important. I agree. And another important program, Be a Friend First, BFF. Yes. Be a Friend First is our anti-bullying campaign. It's a program that was designed by Girl Scouts of America, GSUSA, and it is results driven and we know that it works and it we go into the schools and we also develop we deliver this in, in a troop environment too, but right. how do we make wise decisions? How do we resolve a conflict? How do we identify bullying, not only between you and I, possibly, but if we see a friend being bullied, how do we step in in an, an appropriate an manner appro and stop right. it? And we all know that that's an issue in every yes. in every environment where children are. No, and, and something that definitely needs to be addressed. And you have brought a wonderful video to share with us. And uh, it, it, it's just a short 30 second video that really summarizes everything that Girl Scouts does. Yes. Enjoy that now. I'm prepared to fall down. Get back up and go for it. I'm prepared to try something totally new. I'm prepared to make my ideas a reality. I'm a Girl Scout. I'm prepared for whatever lies ahead.
We're talking about the Women Who Make a Difference Luncheon Fundraiser in support of the Girl Scouts of Gateway Council. And that is coming up June 1st. Yes, it's not that far away. No, 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 but plenty of time to get tickets. And, you know, sponsors are somebody that we, uh, you know, want to thank. And when you come and you see everybody's name listed on the program, you'll know all of the people it took to bring this event to the public. And it takes a lot of people. It does. Yes. I would especially like to mention Karen Harris, Dr. Harris, and Debbie Indeed. Knopf. Both of those women have chaired the event for two years and have done, an, an, oh, I can't even tell you how successful they've been in, in um, implementing the event for the Girl Scouts. Yes. So that's exciting for them too. It is. And when we were there, one thing I've always enjoyed is the presence of the Girl Scouts, that they're at tables, that they open the event with the Pledge of Allegiance, that that they are in evidence. You, you feel yourself surrounded by the Girl Scouts, the women of tomorrow. Right. And I think that's very important because not only it's not it's important for you and I to engage with the Girl Scouts, but what's more important is for the Girl Scouts to be there to see the seven women that are being honored, to hear their stories of how Girl Scouts impacted them or what impacted their career path and their leadership role that they currently hold in the community. So, you know, the saying of we can't be what we can't see the mm. girls that are in attendance will actually see what they can be. And I have to tell you, this class of women who make a difference is pretty, pretty esteemed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told you I'm humbled to, to stand with them. And they are all talented achievers of this community, many I've known for years. So indeed, I, I salute and congratulate all of them and, and everyone in that room. And again, it's about the Girl Scouts because what you're the largest girl serving organization in the country outside of the public, public school, school system. That I'm going, that is some important knowledge. And a lot of learning happens outside of the school system. And Indeed. we do, we, we supplement that learning, especially in the leadership role. We supplement the learning outside of the public school system. We have 16 counties, so. Um, oh, and you have a whole large area. It is, yes, a, it's yes. a large area. Yes, a lot to cover. And in talking to some of the women at, at other events about their daughters being Girl Scouts, well, my mom was a Girl Scout leader from mm -hmm. one of my sisters. So I was following her in Girl Scouts even before I actually joined as a Brownie. Uh, I was just a tag along mm -hmm. with my sister and my mom. Then I joined as a Brownie, then I flew up to Girl Scouts. But you know, in my many years, the Girl Scout organization has evolved in wonderful ways, in um, opportunities for travel to let girls understand cul other cultures and other ways of life and appreciate everybody. Well, we've, we have troops in Alachua County that have traveled internationally. We yes. have to Egypt. We have troops that have been to Nigeria. We have troops that actually work with other nonprofit organizations to educate women in third world countries. So we are, we know the world. The globe is shrinking. It is we're, pre we're preparing girls for that international interaction. Yes. And it's very, it's, it's really very exciting particularly when girls, there's a certain age level, when we say Girl Scouts is girl-led, that doesn't happen at a brownie, but cadets and juniors, those girls start making those decisions, making decisions on yes. their own. Yes, and when we talk about leadership and we look around that room June 1st, uh, enjoying the, the camaraderie of so many women, it, it it's leadership, yes, but it's also kindness and women who have given of themselves in many different ways, uh, I said that earlier when we were chatting, and extending that hand of friendship to everybody. And I think these are examples, wonderful role models to see that as leaders, you can also make sure you pay it forward, that you give back to the community. And that is a leadership quality that I think is expressed in, in the six women I, I am honored to be with and to yourself and so many people that I know in this community. Well, thank you. That, I thank you for concluding me. And that's, that's the Girl Scout promise and law yes. on my honor. I will, I will try, try to serve God in my country. country.
Help yes. other people at yes. all times. At all times. And the song, if everyone does not know the Girl Scout song, please come June 1st because you will learn it. Make new friends and keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. That's just the first verse. <laughs> I'll never forget that song. I, me and it, it means so much. And thank you, Marianne. Thank you, And Eileen. to all the committee. And, and uh, we look forward to the women who make a difference luncheon fundraiser on behalf of the Girl Scouts. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope I will see you at the event on June 1st. I'm so glad you tuned in. I hope you'll join us next week. Take care.